Hey friends. <sighs> Love the wine you're if. With if. Love the wine you're with. <laughs> Cabernet Sauvignon, Sauvignon, Sauvignon. I'm not good at speaking anything that sounds remotely French. Today's video is going to be my August favorites because it is either the end of August or the beginning of September, depending on when I get this video up. But that's just what you do, right? Let's just get started with makeup and things. So I've bought a handful of new products this month. Not a ton, just a handful. Mainly because like I was out of something and I needed retail therapy. First thing I talked about last month as well is my uh, ColourPop uh, Yes Please palette, which has um, a considerable dip in, well, I don't know. It has a dip in some of the colors. This one, this one, this one, um, yeah, yeah, these three for the most part. I'm wearing a lot of yellow this month. Yellow eyeshadow is an underrated color. I wear yellow all the time and I love yellow eyeshadow. Who else loves yellow eyeshadow? Hands, hands for who loves yellow eyeshadow. Me, just me, it's not just me. Obsessed with this palette, love ColourPop eyeshadows. I will definitely invest in more when I need more. The NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Brights. This is the Bright Shadow Palette. And I strictly bought this because my friend Brooke, who does my hair, I dropped my fidget spinner. My friend Brooke, who does my hair, has been doing 100 days of makeup on Instagram, and she's been using this palette all the time, and it's really pretty, and you get lots of colors in here, and the shadows are actually pretty pigmented. Like, they're not the most pigmented things in the world, but for like $17 for like a rainbow palette, like that's pretty good. Like I'm wearing these two colors on my eyes right now with one of the colors from the Yes Please palette, like a brown and blue smoky eye thing. I don't know. I was feeling adventurous today. I just keep dropping everything. But yeah, I like this palette. Um, it's not the most riveting packaging, but it's travel friendly and Dirty. Another NYX product that I'm not sure if I actually talked about it last month is the NYX uh, HD blush in taupe. It's what I use for my contour all the damn time. It has a considerable amount of use to it already because I use it all the time. It literally is the perfect contour shape for my face. It's awesome. I love it. My Milk Makeup uh, Hollow Holographic Highlighting Powder in Mars. I'm wearing it all the time. Um, it doesn't look fancy, but I used it in my last Get Ready With Me, if you want to see that. I'll post a card up here. But it's like a peachy, pinky, goldish duochrome thing. It's not hollow. It's not hollow. Also, fucking shout out to Simply Nail Logical for getting nominated for a streamy. What? That was awesome. Milk Makeup. I want to invest in more of their things. Let me know what you like from that brand. And I just, I love their packaging. Next, I also got the uh, the matching lip gloss from Milk, um, which again, isn't hollow, but it's duochrome. It's a peachy pink. It smells like orange creamsicle. So that I'm obsessed with. Um, like orange creamsicle and almost like chocolate oranges, like terry chocolate oranges. It's got a decent amount of pigment. It looks pretty on like by itself. And on top of like pinky lip liners, it's just a decent lip gloss. I know I shouldn't buy like expensive lip glosses, but I wanted to, so like don't judge me. Wine's a favorite. I don't know if I have a favorite um, red wine. I haven't done like Merlot, I don't think. I've done Pinot Noir, which I like. And then actually just one more makeup thing, because I did, I kind of just used the same thing all month. Uh, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Alkaline. It is a really pretty burgundy color. I used it in my last Get Ready With Me. It goes good on the waterline. This month, I remembered I had a $50 gift card from Amazon and I wanted to use it, uh, mainly just because I didn't want it to sit around. I felt like shopping online and I had $50 to spend. So I bought a couple of candles, <laughs> among other things. These are from our own candle company and I bought one called Grandma's Kitchen. It smells like a mixture of like baked goods and po like those like shitty potpourri, like the little like floral leaves that like kind of smell musky and kind of cinnamony. I don't know, it's it straight up smells like grandma, but I like it, I like it a lot. And then the other one I got, I actually haven't burned yet, is blueberry pie. <laughs> so, smells like blueberry pie? 
I've actually never made blueberry pie, but it smells like blueberry and it smells like baked goods. I'm one of those people that really like foodie smells for candles. Like I once bought a candle from Yankee Candle called French Baguette and it just literally smelled like bread. Food candles. Um, I got a couple pieces of clothing, which I am going to be saving for an upcoming like outfit video. Um, but so far I enjoy them. They did not come uh, in a completely different form than I expected them to. Like I didn't buy from like a sketchy website and then just like a piece of fabric came. Like I see all these videos from like Zaffel hauls and like all these other like websites that sell things at like exorbitantly low prices that you know they're being made by like children in China and you're like, mmm. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> These seemed like not super sketchy websites and they weren't like super cheap to the point where I'm like, these kids are getting paid in like grapes. But I also bought a fidget spinner. <laughs> I know, I know. Judge me. Judge me so hard. Can you hear it? Can you hear anything? I don't know. Maybe? Where's my mic? I can never tell which side of the camera my mic is on. Are you on this side of the camera? Or are you on this side of the camera? The internal mic on the camera is not obvious. I can't like make stealthy ASMR if I wanted to. Yeah, this one came with a little like carrying case so I can take it with me on the go so it's travel friendly. I need something to do with my hands and so this is actually really nice. And also it's like rainbow colors, like mermaid, like woo. Don't spill the wine. Oh, these shoes, um, I bought these with my mom. This month I went home and I was wearing a pair of boots that apparently my mother hates. So she's like, we're going shopping, I'm buying you new shoes. So she bought me these shoes, um, they're from Skechers and they remind me of the Spice Girls. They're very comfortable. They have like these like memory foam soles and the shoes are actually like, they're not super heavy, but they're heavier than like Crocs material, but I like them. They're really cute. One last thing before I get into like abstract YouTube internet memes. This granola. <laughs> My mom also got me a gift card to Whole Foods because apparently I'm that person that only buys frozen foods from grocery outlet because I'm broke almost all the time. Hey, I actually really like this. This is the one degree organic food sprouted oat granola quinoa cacao. Listen to all those like fancy ass bitch ass words. It's organic, it's sprouted oat, it's granola, it's quinoa, quinoa, and cacao. Lightly sweetened with coconut palm sugar. It's really good actually. Internet favorites. Okay, so like internet channels that I have been binging a lot of H3 H3 productions. I've been watching their shit. They have so much content on their channel that I only started watching them in the last year. So like I have a lot that I can just catch up on and I love it. And they won their fucking lawsuit for fair use and I'm so fucking proud of them. Like, oh my God. Yeah, them. Oh, Hot Ones, I started watching recently. Dig that show. I had heard Philip DeFranco talk about it a bunch of times and I was like, what is this Hot Ones that you're so obsessed with, Phil? And then I realized it's just like a celebrity talk show with hot wings <laughs> where they their mouths are on fire. Steven Septic and Sugar Pine 7 is my favorite underdog story of the whole world and the whole year. Like, I never talked about at length about how much SourceFed being canceled affected me and my boyfriend. We were both very upset about it. So see seeing the SourceFed hosts and the people working there going out and being able to do their own things again and succeeding at it, like William Haynes is on Disney Channel, like Ava is doing stuff for Clever and doing her own podcasts and like Mike Falzone's back at doing his own thing. Philip Molina's back doing at, at New Rockstar Stars and Sam Batcher is still doing his podcast and fucking Subtick is killing it. Steven and Sugar Pine 7 have been nominated for four Streamy Awards. It's been less than a year of them figuring this out and four Streamy Awards. Best comedy, show of the year, editing and directing. And I was so pumped to see that because I've seen the different stages that his channel has gone through and like rebranding and then kind of like figuring out what content he wants to keep doing and then starting doing this kind of weird surreal vlog thing and it's worked and it's different and it's new and if you haven't started watching Sugar Pine 7 I highly recommend it because I mean clearly they got nominated for streamies for good reason because oh my god I'm so excited like I was so pumped for them <laughs> Two particular videos, not full channels. As you all know, I live in Seattle. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out now, uh, where have you been? But um, 
Mr. Alex Jones himself visited our great city of Seattle, Washington. Why? I don't know. Apparently it was to scream at people on the street corner, <laughs> but he was out on the street, Periscope, live blogging, live tweeting, whatever, start shouting at people. People told him to fuck off and he was just like, no, you fuck off. And the other guy's like, no, you fuck off. He's like, I am fucking off. And it's just, it, it got so ridiculous. This one guy shouted at him from across the street, you're trash. And then Alex Jones just like gets up in his face and he's like, yeah. Tell me who you are intellectually. He's like, intellectually, I'm your mama. And like, <laughs> so Alex Jones starts shouting, this, the product of liberal media, just following, he's a, made zero sense. And as Alex Jones is like screaming like a maniac, this guy, the guy who shouted at him, is just calmly unscrewing his coffee mug and then just <sighs> coffee all in Alex Jones' face. And he kind of like steps back and he's like, I gotta go to work where they have more coffee. <laughs> and then like runs down the street. And because I have a lot of friends here and I know a lot of people, I found out through the grapevine that apparently he is the lead singer of like a sci-fi, nerdcore, heavy death metal band. <laughs> and if that is not Seattle as fuck, I don't know what is. I applauded him. And as far as like fails for the month, kind of counts, kind of doesn't. But I want to mention it um, because everybody on YouTube in the beauty community has been talking about it. Um, so I've been watching, I've been keeping up with all these Anastasia subculture videos, like reviews and swatches and destroying of the palettes and stuff. I'm not denying that everybody is having different experiences with their palettes. Do I like the colors? Fuck yeah. Do I like how they blend? Not bad. Actually, I went to Ulta um, when it came out like in stores because I wanted to try it with my brush and the way that I apply my eyeshadows. So I applied it with my brush and it blended fine. It didn't like get weird and patchy. It was decent. But the problem was that the colors that really spoke to me, like Axis and All Star and like the olive colors, the colors that you don't usually find in palettes, the kick up was so crazy. It was like as soon as I put my brush in there, it was like things were magnetized to it and it just came out of the pressing. And it was like, when I got shadow on my brush, I had to tap off a fuck ton. And then there was like just as much, if not more powder, just like sitting flat in the pan. So I would end up wasting like three times as much product each time I would apply it, each time I would dip it. So for me, it wasn't really worth the price because I would end up running out of the shadows faster because I would end up using extra. I wouldn't get the value out of it. So I'm gonna wait and see like what the pressings do in the future pressings. Cause I think that like Norvina is gonna like press them harder next time because that was like one of the big issues is that it was like way too loose, way too soft to the point where like people were just like hitting pan really fast. And if you wanna see like a really good uh, kind of comparison with how they perform versus like modern Renaissance, um, uh, Beauty News did a video where they destroyed that palette next to some of the shadows from modern Renaissance and they repressed it and they did like a really good comparison and it was good, it was great. I'm like literally almost done with my video. Can I call you in five minutes? Yeah, that's all for today's favorites and one fail. I mean, the eclipse was cool. We didn't get a total eclipse. We got a decent eclipse. It was more than like just the tip, but it wasn't like all the way, you know? So if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do. That'd be great. And then hit the little bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And then check out my previous video. I was talking about boobs. Everybody likes boobs. Leave me things in the comments below that you want me to review. Cause I want to get more like critical on this channel, but not like completely outside of what I do. I want new ideas for content. So do that in the comments and check out the whole uh, Hawking record. Bye guys. <laughs>